found out over the past decades that uh, the way we were going was not the right way in the long term. Uh, if you look at the world population where it's going, if you look at the amount of products that everybody's using, uh, it's just not going to work. Sustainability and bees go hand in hand. About 40% of the food that we eat is a direct result of pollination. When you introduce beekeeping, people can earn a living. They're increasing crop yields between the honey and the beeswax. None of it goes to waste. Apart from uh, making money, there's other things that are probably more important. We had the opportunity to set up a sustainable supply chain here in West Africa. I'm optimistic, but at the same time also worried, you know, that we're not going quick enough. Costa Kuyne is a wax refinery. We mostly process beeswax that we import from uh, various countries in the world. We were founded in 1852. We are in Holland, but we also have our sister company in the United States, with which we work intensively to process beeswax and sell it into various industries in the world. Moi, mon nom, c'est Jaya Batila Julien. On me surnomme souvent abeille. Je suis un apiculteur. Pour être un bon apiculteur, il faut aimer son travail. Il faut tous les jours visiter les riches, être ami avec les abeilles. La place de l'agriculture dans ma vie, c'est très très fondamental. Ça, ça a été démontré que sans les abeilles, la vie n'est possible que pour 4 ans. C'est pourquoi elle occupe une place importante dans la vie. We work for the biggest cosmetic companies in the world because we find that they are also, like us, interested in making their supply chains more sustainable. Uh, I mean, beeswax has been around for thousands of years, so it is a, a global product with global acceptance and it's used in thousands of products worldwide. And then we were lucky enough to find a local uh, guy who is a veteran of the area. So with the three of us, John in the USA, Sylvain here in Togo, and myself in the Netherlands, we are trying to make this work. My name is Nasser Abemba. Today we are in Titigbe village uh, to do a training session with uh, Pazapa Beekeeper Organization. And the target is train them uh, how to do the installation of hives and also how to control uh, disease uh, during the production and how and when to do the harvest to obtain good quality of honey, but also to obtain good quality of beeswax. I think we need to leave the world a better place than when we found it. For this project, our sustainability project, we're focused on West Africa. Uh, that includes countries of Togo, Benin, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast. 
so often we get to travel and meet the people who are behind supplying us those products. And, and that to me is just a, a passion to really understand our supply chains and, and meet those people who are our partners in these far off places. We are at uh, Dani Tonota. We are going to see a Togbe Michel at Sevi. He's uh, the traditional chief. Is why he's uh, wearing these beautiful uh, traditional clothes. Okay, and also he's the president of a beekeeping association located in Dani. He knows a lot of things about the beekeeping. He's uh, well engaged with all the beekeepers. Moi, j'ai appelé les les apiculteurs que on va faire le groupement. Si vous avez dans le groupe, si tu as un problème, peut-être ton ami va vous donner idée pour réduire ce problème-là. For us, it's important to work through association and the beekeeper uh, cooperative, okay, to be able to touch all the beekeepers. Because if you are alone in the middle of Africa, okay, it's complex to reach the international market. But if you are able to aggregate also and to train them, we are able to uh, link the local beekeeper with the international market, with international standard quality. There are so many people affected, right? It's not just the beekeepers. It's the people that are making the bee boxes, the people that are making the bee suits, the truck drivers who are moving the wax around. We are able to pay the fair price with a premium and quality. We are the guaranteed market for the wax. So as long as they have the wax, we will buy it. And selling the honey is, is easy, that's, that's done locally. I think when you understand the entire supply chain and you make sure that everybody in that chain is taken care of, there's so much to gain. Costa Kuyne is a family business. We immediately saw that uh, the people here were enthusiastic, willing to learn, uh, entrepreneurial, uh, and also uh, great fun to work with. Currently, I would say around 10% of our beeswax business is uh, sustainable. This is already an achievement, uh, so you can look at it in a positive way uh, or in a negative way. Uh, I, I look at it like, okay, this is a first step but we need to do much more than this and increase it to 50, 60 or uh, more percent. Fine. <laughs> I would encourage other companies who want to get into something like this to really study their value chain, their supply chain, understand it from the beginning to the end. And I think in the future, more and more customers will be requiring their suppliers to have programs like this. I believe as an entrepreneur, you have a unique responsibility because you are able to change things pretty quickly. 
So if you can do something, you have to do it. And I have to say, this is what I see around me. So people are actually looking for ways to improve. If you can, uh, change it. It's not just about what we do, it's how we do it. There's so much opportunity to, to do the right things, to make sure that those folks are being treated in the way that they should be treated, getting compensated the way that they should be compensated. Apart from uh, what we always talked about, growth and making more money, for your company to exist in the long term, you also need to think about how you want to make that money. And if you want to give it to your, the next generation, uh, you just have to think about, okay, what is a sustainable way of doing my business? And then uh, start doing it. Don't wait, just start uh, doing it tomorrow.